You know, there's something in the walls or whatever that. Uh, there's some some pretty good ghosts running around here. It's got this amazing vibe to it, and the staff is great. So it's just got all this like juju in this place. The fact that so much emotional stuff has gone on here, so much great art has been created here, that's got to do something to your to your DNA. It's probably in a way almost as impressive as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is where it really happened, here. It's legendary, I mean, you walk down the halls, history, you know. Kind of take your eye away and you look at all these records that are done there and then you get a, a good sense of, you know, what the place is. You don't even realize the records that were done here until you stand in the halls here and go like, wow. Pink Floyd. Neil Diamond. Foo Fighters. Stones record. Steady Don. Smashing Pumpkins. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Super Tramp. BB King. Nine Inch Nails. Bloodstone. Clapton. Kansas. Bob Dylan. Robbie Robertson. Fleetwood Mac. Rumors. Great record. There's records that aren't on the walls and I'm still finding out about sessions here. I guess the most important thing about the village is the level of excellence the creative standard that has gone through this studio ever since I started here, and that was before you were born. People run into each other in the hallways all the time. People meet each other that they've been fans of each other they've never met or just like didn't even know about the other person they met and they started playing together. So that's why it's the village. It was almost like the Brill Building for, for musicians west. You always could just turn right or left and find some great person to work with. I used to keep all of this gear up in my room and I had a little sign out sheet. So I say anybody can use whatever they want. There would be times when I would be up mixing a record and somebody would bang on the door and I say, we need a guitar overdub. You know, now. Okay, grab something, go down and do it. The vibe here is so positive. You know? Jeff just creates a really with all the people that work here, just a really positive vibe. That's really makes the difference. Music took me away from my miserable existence as a dork. And uh, if you see a picture at the cartoon show, King of the Hill, that kid was me. So for me, music was like an escape. It was founded by a guy who's as interesting as any of this. And his name is Jordy Hormel, who came out here in the early 60s to do music and needed a place to record, and he bought this building. He's one of the most colorful guys you'd ever meet with a wicked, wicked sense of humor. I think I got hired on a Tuesday, and the first Saturday, Jordy Hormel came driving down the hallway on his motorcycle in into the lobby. You know, it looked like Captain Hook. And I'm just, hi. <laughs> He um, created the whole studio from nothing. He designed this room, the, the whole lobby, so that it was a complete optical illusion. So when you walked in, mirrors everywhere. The hallways downstairs, as you come in the door, were all mirrored. And you'd walk in, and it was like walking into a kaleidoscope. He loved those mirrors. And people would just walk into them all the time. They didn't know where them, what was mirror and what was glass, so they'd be walking around like this. He passed away two years ago. This place is really Jordy's spirit. This will always be Jordy's place. And you see them shine, whatever colors you have in your mind. I show them to you, and you see them shine. Having a recording studio is one thing. Having a recording studio in a 1922 Masonic temple is a complete other thing. That's one of the reasons I knew when I walked in here we could achieve something that not a lot of other people have access to. It was just another phone call, you know, come down and see this place. And we came in here, and I gotta tell you, it was a mess. We walked in, and the place was destroyed. It was horrible. People all over, crap all over the floor, it was filthy. Everybody said, you're out of your goddamn mind. That place is over with. Don't even give it a shot. It's dead, it's over. And when I started getting those calls, I thought, hmm, <laughs> okay, maybe there is something to do here. We sat down with everybody in a room and said, and I said, I'm Jeff, you guys don't know me. We're gonna give this place a shot. We're gonna ask for your help. We fired everybody. I mean, we got rid of everybody. We 
went through the building and just started cleaning it up. We actually did change every wire and every element in this building in the interest of better sound. This is the lobby of the village. We've got a lot of great records. Stewie Dan's Greatest Hits, Barbara Streisand, Super Tramp Breakfast in America, Tusk, Fleetwood Mac's Tusk. And as we walk down the hall here, Goat's Head Soup by the Rolling Stones, which has the song Angie, of course, that everybody knows. This is the Eagles, Hell Freeze is Over, done by a great engineer that worked here for years, Elliot Shiner. This is uh, Bob Dylan and the band Before the Flood. Pink Floyd's Momentary Lapse of Reason. God, it's one of my favorites. Stewie Dan, Can't Buy a Thrill. This is uh, Stevie Nicks, Rock a Little, Talking Heads. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Southern Accents. David Crosby and Graham Nash, Wind on the Water, probably I think one of the most beautiful records ever made. And this is Melancholy, the Infinite Sadness, Smashing Pumpkins. We got a uh, request from a band uh, looking for a place to record. And they asked if we could send them a picture of the studio and the place looked so crappy on the inside. I walked outside with a Polaroid and took a picture of the building. It was Smashing Pumpkins and apparently Billy liked the picture of the building and they came in and they did Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. It was our really first lucky break. We're gonna go to A. The great bands in Studio A, Steely Dan, did a tremendous amount of, of their work there, including Asia. Bob Dylan did Planet Waves in Studio A. Foo Fighters, Chili Peppers, Jet. So this is Studio A, and this is the group Aram Star. Can we play a little bit in here, what's going on in here? There were two things about Studio A that were very special. One was the sound of the room. There's no place in the world that sounds like A. As a matter of fact, I can listen to records and I, and I listen to the drum sound and I know it's Studio A. And the other was the piano. That, there's no piano in the world that sounds like that either. So when you hear it, you know it. I mean, it's just got, it has a signature on it. So. I came to the village because I started a band called Steely Dan back in 71. My first record that I did all the way through was the H album with Steely Dan. And I knew all their records and I was a big fan. So they said, well, this, this could be a long project. And I said, I don't care. I want to do it. Oh, it was magic. It's just a great. Everything was right. Wiring was right. Everything was right. Wherever they pulled the copper from, from the wires was, was blessed as well, I guess. The magic of this studio, the things that happen musically, where you just get goosebumps or you'd be brought to tears. Incredible place. The one thing about studios is like, they gotta still make the music. It's kind of like the last, you know, vestige of survival. It's a camaraderie that they feel. You know, at your home, you can run into your wife, your kids, and your dog. Sometimes you open the door and you realize, my God, that's something so beautiful. I'm just gonna sneak out and close the door and pretend. And hopefully they didn't see me or hear me so I don't interrupt the magic. And that's really what goes on here a lot, is a lot of magic. I think what Jeff has done with the facility is unbelievable. And it's kind of become a, a colony of artists. You know, it seems like a lot of people have made their homes here. I think everyone feels very fortunate to be part of the village here, no doubt. I mean, I, I can't believe I'm in the company of, of the people that are here. I, I got lucky, I guess. There's something about the village. What's, what's you're here, it's kind of hard to leave. <laughs>